Hi, my name is Letty Teague. I'm the wine columnist to the Wall Street Journal. And I'm here at Union Square Wine and Spirits with wine buyer Jesse Salazar. And we're talking about the $10 question, <laughs> which is, can you get a good bottle of wine $10 or under? You have lots of wine, or at least some wines under $10 here. So clearly you believe the answer to that is yes. Um, and I'm curious you know, what you think are some of the best deals. By the way, why are they down by our feet? You have to reach for your bargain in Daba. You said this is like the, the best seller in the store? Yeah, that, I mean, by volume, yeah. we sell more in Daba Chardonnay than any other bottle of wine in the shop. Wow. Wow, I hope this importer, Cape Classics, is, uh, is eminently grateful to you for that. You know, that's one of those uh, situations where, you know, the wine is delicious. It's mm -hmm. not too it's not too oaky in one way. It's not right. too fruity the other way. Um, you've got a number right. of critics that have come out and said, you know, for you know, less than $10, it's about as good as it gets in life sort of thing. Right, right. And that's, uh, you, know, <laughs> you know, I send it, I send I like it to that. friends of no. mine that are just mm -hmm. looking to have something simple, you right. know, for right. random parties, right. and various foods, and it's, uh, it works really well. Do you think if you spent a little bit more money and maybe went to $15, are you getting something that much better? Do you think that much more, more interesting? I think so, yeah, you know, as a wine professional, mm -hmm. yes, certainly. <laughs> but it's it's sort of like going from, you know, primary colors to burnt right. umber or something right. like that. It's like right. it's Advanced blue or it's box. cerulean blue. Yeah, yeah exactly. Mm -hmm. So, you know, some people don't necessarily need those extra colors and right. they're not interested. They just want something solid for the book party and, you know, that's perfect. Chardonnay is one of the, the best uh, values. Is there is there a grape that it's virtually impossible to find a great ten dollar example? Probably the you know, the hard one would be Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir. I think probably the threshold would be yeah, ten, fifteen. Mm. Like anything less than that, it's going to be it's going to be dicey. Do you have a ten dollar Pinot Noir? We do. We have the Pinot Project there. That's ah, made with okay. uh, grapes from I'm California. Mm -hmm. Ten dollar Pinot Noir. Who knew? Thank you so much, Jesse Salazar, for being with us today. Thanks.